Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Dasky here with another Crash Your Cars video. Now as you can tell by the title of this video, today we're going to be opening some prize machines and hopefully we can get some of the new cars because I haven't yet opened the prize machines since the latest update with all the new cars. Now as you already know, I do have the battering ram because I purchased this for 200 gems. But I don't have the Rumbler yet because my friend King Ham purchased this with 250 gems on his own account while he was making videos for me. But nonetheless, I'll just scroll down and show you all the cars that I currently have. So if we just scroll to the left very quickly, go all the way back to the common cars, I'll quickly swipe through my cars very fast so that way I can show you them. So here we go, here are all the common cars. I have most of the original commons, level 4, level 3. As you can see, some of the newer common cars only have level 1 and 2. The swap van is a new car from the latest update that I don't have yet. And there you could also see the hidden cars. Now similarly with the rare cars, I also have all the original rare cars, all level 4. Because for some reason, I always seem to be getting rare cars and not common cars, which is pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. We can now see the war car and the war wagon which are two of the new cars. Moving on to the epic section, I'll just quickly scroll through them. I have most of them near the high levels and I don't have the rumbler as I just said before because King Ham was recording the gameplays for me on his account with the rumbler. And as you already know, I have all the legendaries, all level 3 and 2 because I am pretty lucky and I seem to get quite a few legendaries. Now also, if you didn't know, and I didn't notice this till a few days ago, there have also been some new skins added into the game and some of them I have to say look pretty cool. And this one's like a chrome wrap type of rainbowish thing. I think that one looks pretty cool to be honest. It's like a rainbow and it kind of changes color as it spins around and moves. And I just chuck on the tiger skin now before I go into the prize machine. So now I'll open up the prize machines. I asked you in my previous video to leave some comments down in the comments section below so I could answer them. And in today's video, that's what I'm going to be doing. But before we get into it, I didn't quite open up all the packs because I have 4,000 coins and it took quite a while to open the prize machines. So I want everyone down below to comment a question for me. That way I can answer it in the next video and you can be featured in the next video. Now let's just jump straight into the video. But before we do, you can already see that I just got my first rare car on the second prize machine opening. And I'm telling you, my luck is very good. I always seem to be getting rare cars. And I just got the Phoenix. So I'll open up one more pack before I get to the questions. Answer that question. All right, so here we go. I just got another rare car. And what are we gonna get? We get the War Wagon. Now this is one of the new cars and it looks pretty cool. It's got to do with the castle update. That's why it's a very castly type of themed car. And I think it looks pretty cool. I haven't yet used it because I just unlocked it, but I'll be pumped to try out and use it. So now we'll go and bam, we get a legendary. Only four cars in. That's what I'm talking about. King Dash, he always gets the luck. And we get the pirate ship, which is pretty good. I've got it maxed out. So there's 10 gems straight away. Now we'll get into the questions. Commonly, I always get asked, just in my previous videos, and I thought I'd answer it, everyone asks, how do I get so many gems? And in this video, you're gonna see how many gems I actually get. I accumulate so many gems from getting level four maxed out cars, and they just pile on. That way I get heaps of gems, and I'm able to save them up over time to use them to buy new cars. Now jumping straight back into the questions that you guys have left me down in the comments. The first question says, do you have to be in the same region to play with Dasky? Commonly, yes you do. I am in the Australian region. So most of the time, if you do want to play with me, you're going to need to be playing in the Australian region. But occasionally I do play in other regions where I do have good connections, such as the Asia region and so on. But most of the time I am playing in the Australian region because it does have the best connection for me and I'm able to get the best gameplays so that way I can upload them onto YouTube. Now, the next question is, where do you live? Just your country. I live in the Philippines. So I'm sure most of you already know and you could tell from the previous question, I live in Australia. So that's why I'm always playing in the Australian region. And just to go off the previous question as well, I was a few weeks ago in Europe. So I went to Spain, Portugal and Greece and I was playing in the European servers. So if you did come across me, it probably was your boy King Das that you were versing and I was just over there for a holiday. So I didn't want to spend too much time playing 
But of course, I tried to play as much as I could whenever I had a bit of spare time. That way I could play with some of you fans. And if anyone noticed me, shout out to all you guys. Now the third question is, which is your favorite map and why? Mine is Moon because it has a very creative idea and it looks very cool. Not to forget that it's also very good for collecting crowns. Now currently at the moment my favourite map is probably Castle because it's still the newest map and I love just going into the battle arena and destroying as many cars as I can. One of my favourite things about the Castle map is when you're on a very high amount of crowns of course all the enemies are going to be following you. So I try to get that shield and just head down straight to the battle arena. That way I can activate it with a lot of enemies inside and just destroy as many of them as I can. And this is pretty fun and I enjoy it because there's nothing else that they can do because my shield will last quite a while when I'm inside which is enough time for me to hit them and destroy their car. So for that reason Castle Map is probably my favourite map at the moment but also a map I really like is Fortune Harbor because I find it very easy to collect a lot of amount of crowns very quickly on the map. And I love getting quick, fast, action-packed gameplays for my YouTube channel. So often, Fortune Hub is a very good map. Also, like you said, Moon is a very good map because it does have that circle figure around the outside of the map alongside with a lot of crowns and power-ups in the middle of the map that allows you to get a lot of high-scoring gameplays. Now, a lot of my friends that play Crash of Cars also get their high scores on Moon, and I also have gotten a high score on Moon before, and in some of my previous videos, you can see some of the high scores that I get on Moon because of this tactic. Now, just going off this, you can see that all the maps have like a very similar idea and strategy. They all have crowns scattered around the outskirts of the map, and as I've said in previous videos, you can just follow these loops and collect crowns, because often by the time that you've done one lap around the map, the new crowns will be spawning again. Although this may take a little longer to get the crowns, you'll be able to get a lot of crowns per game. And then you can also occasionally come through the middle of the map when you've got a good power up, they'll be able to protect you and pick up the few crowns that are in there. Often the middle of the maps have the most crowns, but it's where the most action takes place. So therefore it's the most likely spot that you're gonna take damage. So you wanna try and stay outside of the middle of the map just because of this, you don't wanna take too much damage early on. And especially later in your games when you do have a high amount of crowns and you cross through the middle, you're gonna get all the enemies attentions and they're just gonna be aiming straight for you to try and steal your crowns. So that's why it's very important to make sure when you go through the middle of the map, you have a very good power up that they won't be able to destroy your car on. Now the next question comes from a YouTuber. I've never heard of his name before, but he's just got over 3,000 subscribers. His name's Dasky, and he asks, do you have Instagram? Now if you didn't quite know my previous Instagram account, I forgot the password for it, so I'm not able to access it anymore. So I've created a new account, and I'll leave the link to it in the top of the description. So if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on my Instagram at King Dask. That way you can see sneak peeks of when I'm gonna be uploading some videos and just some more extra content that I'll be posting on Instagram. Now I'll be following the first 100 followers back and when I do hit 100 followers, I'll be posting a photo of my trip overseas in Europe. So be sure to go ahead and follow me on my Instagram for some more awesome content. Now unfortunately, I don't have any more questions, but as I said earlier, I'll be making a part two of this video. So please be sure to comment anything that you want down in the comment section below and I'll be going ahead and answering them in the next video. Also, if you have any ideas or challenges that you want me to do that are difficult or just fun and that you'd enjoy to see, please be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button and if you're new, subscribe because you will not regret it. And now I'll leave you here to enjoy the rest of the video. There's about a minute left and I hope you enjoy it. And for now, Dasky out.